So this question is a diagram question. We have a table provided. The question says the table gives the distribution of votes for a new school mascot and grade level for 80 students. So let me just make sure I understand that. So I see my grade levels, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, and I see my mascots, Badger, Lion, Longhorn, and Tiger. So I assume that means um, so distribution of votes. So in seventh grade, for instance, not, there were nine votes for the tiger as the mascot. I like to do that at time just to make sure I understand the table before moving forward. So when I go back to it, I can easily find my answer. The question goes on to say, if one of these students is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a student whose vote for new mascot <clears throat> was for a lion? So anytime I see the word probability on this test, I'm thinking fraction where the numerator is what you want. In this case, what we want is voting for lion. So what? how many students, in fact, let me write it here. So want is the numerator. Um, I'm going to get to the denominator in a second. But what is it that we want? We want the number of votes who voted, or the number of students who voted for the mascot for a lion. Let me just clean this up for a second. So the lion is here. And there's a total of 20 students. So there's no information in the question saying that we should distinguish between what grade they came from. So I'm going to go straight to the total category. So there were a total of 20 votes for Lion. So that's my numerator. My denominator is what you have or the total that you're choosing from, right? So I'll say total or have. Um, so there were a total of 80 students, right? So out of the 80 students, 20 of them voted for Lion. So when I simplify that fraction, 20 over 80 is really like 2 over 8. And 2 divided by 8 is the same as 1 over 4. So the answer to my question here is choice C.